Caulifla tells Gohan she believes Goku is the most powerful person across all universes, that she believes he is the savior for Universe 7, and that he is beyond a perfect being. And this is something that Gohan strongly objects to. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. What is up guys, Blackscape here, and today we have the continuation to the Goku Trains Caulifla Dragon Ball fan manga. A fan manga that I've been covering for almost couple years now like it's been a very long time that this manga has been running and it's one of the first ones that I started reviewing back when I started reviewing Dragon Ball fan projects and today we actually have what could be the culmination of that entire story the ending of Khalifa's journey in universe 7 and the ending of her training let's begin after Khalifa and Chi Chi's heart to heart back at the bathtub which sounds like it's implying something but it was actually very very low-key innocent Khalifa gets changed in one of Chi Chi's outfits while Chi Chi is washing her dirty clothes from all the training that she's endured and that's when Goku pops up and tells everyone that food is ready and Goten is spending the night over at Bulma's house with trunks everyone enjoys dinner and Khalifa and Kale are shocked at how good the cooking actually is while Gohan and Goku are just happy to have a family moment in their family home. Chi Chi, just happy to have the boys there. Khalifa lays next to the tree outside. She is stuffed, but she's surprised as to how delicious the food is in Universe 7's version of Earth. And she's thinking about going to Earth and her universe to see exactly if the food is as good as this one was. That is when she's interrupted by Gohan, who asks her if it's true that she is training with her father and has visited various places that Goku has trained throughout his lifetime on planet Earth. Updating the information, Khalifa says that she also trained with Vegeta and Piccolo, to which Gohan is surprised that she actually met Piccolo, somebody that he reveres very much. He was actually a lot stronger than I expected, and I honestly wanted to fight him in the Tournament of Power. But now I'm interested in fighting you, the son of Son Goku. You are heir to the strongest in the seventh universe. You fought and won against our universe sixes Namekian warriors who were by far some of the strongest warriors that we had to produce from our universe and you're also a warrior that trained under Goku one of if not the strongest being across all universes and the savior of universe 7 you must be extremely powerful in your own right. Khalifa, you misunderstand. I did train with my father, yes, but Piccolo is my master. But it is certain that my father is the best warrior in Universe 7, but I think there is a completely different image that you have in your head as to who my father is, compared to what we know in our own universe. Goku is a loser who almost never won a fight? What are you talking about, Gohan? Yes, it's true. The really huge fights that my father had, he barely ever won, if he won at all. There were many losses in his resume, plenty of times where he needed the help of others to defeat an opponent. Every enemy that we ever faced was stronger at the beginning than my father was. But each time he met those opponents, he got stronger and stronger. These villains taught him as much as any master that he ever had. Wow, that's crazy, Gohan. I had the image in my head that your father was undefeated. Yeah, that's not the case. Actually, me and Mr. Piccolo at one point, even if it was only temporary, became stronger than my father. But it is true, my father's dedication to martial arts and training he always came out on top in the end. Once my father became as powerful as he is right now, enemies could not simply ignore him. He was the signal of justice and good to a lot of them, and that is where he got this image where he is the savior of Universe 7. My father has trained and exceeded every limit that he can possibly exceed in Universe 7, but it's not limited to that because now he needs to become stronger than Hit and Jiren in other universes. That is what makes my dad the best in this universe. Sorry if that was a little confusing, Khalifa. Khalifa does agree that it is a little bit difficult to picture everything that Gohan had just said, but despite it all, to her, 
Goku is the strongest and that hasn't changed. And Gohan does say if there is ever an opportunity to, again like the tournament of power or any tournament like that, Gohan wants Khalifa to come after him and let them fight in the ring. Which Khalifa does take that challenge to heart. Sun rises on a new day as Chi Chi says that she is just sad that she can't entertain them anymore or couldn't do a better job at entertaining while Kale is telling Chi Chi that no no everything that you did was absolutely fine and then Khalifa says that's right ma'am thank you so much for washing my clothes and Kale jumps in says you can't call her ma'am she's not an old lady to which Chi Chi responds I'm not an old lady but I'm way older than you two. Khalifa is extremely thankful for everything that Chi Chi has done for them since the moment they arrived at her house as Goku says it's time to go. Beerus is arriving any minute with Champa, and they all say their goodbyes as Chi Chi hopes that next time they come they can actually just come to relax and enjoy planet earth instead of training all the time. Beerus and Champa's arrival is a huge affair as Mr. Popo and Dende are putting together a feast for them to eat and enjoy before they take the universe six Saiyans back to their own world. And as they arrive Kaba says as much and Khalifa is a little upset, a little bit sad that she has to say goodbye to new friends that she's created throughout this entire journey. The gods of destruction arrive and they are hungry, they're ready to eat and then get the hell out of there. But before they can even take a few steps off their spaceship, Goku jumps in and begins to talk to them before anybody else can have a chance. As Goku walks back, Vegeta looks at him suspiciously and says, I can feel that you're up to something Kakarot, what is it? And Goku says, oh it's nothing just a little bit of entertainment before we end up leaving and parting ways with these Saiyans. Piccolo knows what's going on because obviously he can hear everything with his ears and tells Goku to spill the beans and Goku tells everyone that he asked Beerus to be able to have one last training session with Khalifa in the room of spirit and time while they eat their food, while they eat their feast. So Goku is going to take Khalifa in for one last training session and this is what he was asking the gods of destruction for permission for and they agreed to the entire thing. They walk into the room of spirit and time and Khalifa realizes the difference in gravity, the difference in temperature and pressure that is going on in the room right away way and Goku tells her that the time in this room is different than the time out there. By the time that Beerus and Champa are done eating their food, Goku estimates that they are going to have one week left in the room of spirit and time all dedicated to training. Khalifa is astonished that something like this actually exists and then sees and remarks all the advantages of training and strength and ability that the Universe 7 Saiyans have or the Universe 7 beings have over Universe 6 is because they have a lot better training facilities and they actually focus a lot more on training more than other races and other universes and Goku tells her listen when you first came you wanted to learn how to become a Super Saiyan 3 we are not leaving this room until you become a Super Saiyan 3 and Khalifa is now overjoyed because she thought she was leaving without being able to transform like Goku can but Goku says no you will become a Super Saiyan 3 if I have to make a last ditch effort this week to make sure that you do so. The first lesson is that they are going to spar against each other or train against each other, but winning and losing is not the objective here. It is all about fighting in your normal state to make it as challenging as possible. So that is going to be their first training session. Goku explodes into Ki and actually powers up to an extent that Khalifa did not see coming in his base form. Reaching deep within her strength, Khalifa attacks Goku in base form as Goku easily dodges and swats all of Khalifa's movement. Khalifa blasts Goku almost at point blank range, but this is still not enough to get Goku off guard. As Goku intentionally takes the blast to his chest to show Khalifa how much stronger his base form is to hers, Goku does one of my favorite moves from Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and actually wraps around Khalifa's punches and kicks her right in the back. It's almost like a super rush and again this just seems like Goku is in, in Kaioken but he's training Khalifa to be in their base forms that way 
Khalifa gets pushed into Super Saiyan 3. The kick was enough to push Khalifa into the ground and Khalifa gets up asking why he turned off Kaioken. So he was in Kaioken the entire time. I'm reading this as I'm translating it so I try to keep everything fresh and, and surprising for me. So I'm reading the manga at the same time you're reading the manga. Goku was just trying to test out Kaioken to see how it would affect Khalifa and how she would react to it and she wasn't as quick or as fast as Goku anticipated for her not having any Kaioken of her own. Goku says that she needs to first learn how to handle Kaioken before he can even train her on Super Saiyan 3. He thought that maybe she was as fast as Kaioken Goku in his base form and as strong or as durable but she is not so she needs to learn how to deal with Kaioken first before the Super Saiyan 3 transformation can be fully unlocked. That is where today's Dragon Ball fan manga ends. I'm gonna leave a link to the author and creator's Twitter account in the description below in the top comment. That way you can stay up to date with the story as well. And I'll wait until the story piles up into many chapters before I review the next portion. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this story. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care guys. Subscribe for more content.